Hey guys, here we are with Angel Season 3, Episode 18. And I am so... I'm glad that there's three episodes in a row with Angel because I am invested into him getting Connor back. And I even had a dream about it last night. Like, that's how invested I am about this, like, storyline right here because I freaking dreamt about it. I dreamt that he got his baby back. So at least, you know, it wasn't a bad dream or anything. But um, so I'm hoping that he gets Connor back soon and he's still a baby and all of that. Um, hopefully it happens maybe in this episode, maybe in the next episode. I'm not sure. Hopefully it happens really soon. And then I don't know what's going on. I wonder if charisma in real life had something going on or, or something but because she like, I knew she was a cheerleader. I think during this time or something for the Lakers is what somebody said. Um, so I don't know if maybe that had something to do with it, why she had like this weird absence um, for a couple of episodes. Because I assume that she's coming back is what it sounds like. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, it was pretty crazy because especially at the end of it, it seemed like Angel was going to end up forgiving Wesley, which I was a little shocked by um, but then it happened at the end, at the end of the last episode, he was like going to kill Wesley. Um, he, he threatened to kill him and everything. People got him to stop cause he was going to suffocate him with the pillow on the hospital bed. And, uh, he got stopped by a bunch of people and I'm like, there you go. That's what I thought he was going to do anyway. So that it, it shocked me, but it didn't shock me. I think it shocked me more. The fact that he was going to end up, for, it looked like he was going to end up forgiving him. So, yeah. Um, and Wesley ended up being alive, which I was really shocked by. She must have not have dug the, the knife in that, that deep. So, yeah. And she's also, shoot, I totally, I said her name. Usually if I say someone's name out loud, like in the episode, it helps me remember what their name is. But I forgot what her name is again. Um, and Holt's partner. It's like... It's not like Juliet or Amelia. It's something like an older name, I think, or something. Um, but she, the one who, who did that to Wesley, she is now, like, against Holtz because she realized that, you know, like, everything that he said was kind of a lie. And she kind of helped out Angel with, with uh, Sajan? Shazan? I can't remember how to say his name now. Um, she helped capture him in that urn thing. Um, and we found out that the prophecies were all a lie and everything. A lot happened in the last episode. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm super excited to jump into this one. I, hopefully he gets his baby back soon because that's it's going to stress me out. Uh, and I, I think it's just because it relates to me hardcore because, like, I have my baby boy. And so, yeah, um, I totally understand, like, where Angel's coming from with all of his stuff. But anyway, um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Oh, right. They were that couple that called last week with the squatter in their lair. Wesley was supposed to. Oh, it was supposed to be taken care of. Well, I guess he was too busy stealing the baby. Don't. Oh. I just wish he'd talk to us. Might be safer to leave him alone for a while. Pretty sure the rage has passed, but you really want to find out firsthand? I'm sure he's nope. not planning to... We're back! And we're back. Oh, no. Yes. She dyed her hair. She's always doing something with her hair. What happened? That's the person he really needs right there. Other than Buffy. <laughs> Bring him in. His marker's up. Time to collect his soul. Oh. I almost forgot there was a word for it. We can do nothing else for their pain. Is that why you were leaving? For me? No, no. These are... Wesley's things. Mine. They are Wesley's then? Gru, uh, you might want to try to avoid saying the name. Wesley. That was it. <laughs> don't be ridiculous, Monica. It wasn't Wesley, it was Sherman. You don't even know what he's Sherman. Sherman. It was Wesley, Irish fellow, right? He was English, you old bat. Oh, like you ever listen. And you have so many uh. interesting things to say. So, sketches. 
I've heard about them. Sort of impish kind of demon. Like a leprechaun. Leprechauns don't exist, son. <laughs> Drive out the people who live there? Well, God knows you can't stay. What with the shrieking all night and the projectile phlegm. The only thing worse Ooh. is putting up with her for 300 years. <laughs> Married for three centuries? Sid has a phobia about phlegm. I do not. I have a phobia about sputum. Okay, I think we got everything we need. I'll get right over there and clean out your sketch problem today. Thank you for coming. We'll call you as soon as it's done. Call me anytime. Oh, for crying out Ew. loud, Sid. That girl's not a sixteenth of your age. Put your eyes back in your head. American dream, Caddy. Man, you hear those two? It's beautiful. <laughs> He's like, I don't know if I'd call that. I'll be back soon. Uh, don't forget your machete. Yes, dear. Mm -hmm. He is very fortunate to have such a woman looking after his weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> uh, here we go. Probably best to keep this stuff out of sight. Just in case. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to try to put his club back up. You know, what would be cool is if they because it's a hotel. I wonder if they have any like conference rooms or whatever. Like maybe he could just like do something in the hotel. She's going to take that back to him. He was right to blame you, Wesley. Yeah. He should have come to us. He should have. He should have trusted us instead of going to Holtz behind our back. You were supposed to be our friend and you didn't even... If Angel sees you again, he'll kill you, Wesley. This time for real. Yeah. The prophecy was false. Angel was never gonna hurt Connor. I wonder if that's the first time he heard that that prophet that the prophecy was false. It smells like old people in here. Yeah. Gross. Okay, definitely not, not the a size of a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Want to bet? Uh oh. That's not good. I wonder if he did a deal with him. What do you want? I want to talk to the man. You got an appointment? Nah, I got business. Money, power, love. I know who that is. I don't remember what his name is in real life. You're sure you wish to mortgage your future for your present happiness? I'm sure. Uh-oh. Shake on that. You're planning on giving your soul to another, aren't you? What are you talking about? Some broad. You're falling for her hard. Uh-oh. Right. Well, I don't know. We don't get a name. Just an image. We keep an eye on the Akashic records. You think we wouldn't know when one of our souls was about to be transferred? In Fred a guy's name. Hey, none of mine. I'm just here to tell you, you broke the contract. And if you're thinking about running or cheating, don't. Because then we'll take your soul and, and the girl's too. Yeah. She's got nothing to do with this. Well, you can keep it that way. Or you can get her killed. <clears throat> It's up to you now, Slick. See you tomorrow. Uh-oh. He's got to talk to Fred about it. Or maybe Angel? Maybe Angel can help him? <sighs> the way you two look at each other. Well, this place could use a little happiness right now. And you mm. and Fred have your Only whole Only that's not going to last. Right. Future's ahead of you. And I'm here to tell you it's all right to enjoy it. Life goes on. We don't have any pressing cases right now, and I haven't had a vision in like... Oh, wait. I'm having one right now. It's of you and Fred. <laughs> Taking tomorrow off. Your dark blue blue jeans, gray boots. Oh, was I right about any of it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was just to warm up. Of course, if it takes you too long. It won't. Aww. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. Oh, sorry. I love them. I have to cancel. Somebody just walked in my door. Voila, madame. Room service. Cool. 
You didn't cook, did you? Nope. <laughs> we do. And we are going to spend every minute of it having the best day of our lives. Aw. Well, now it's official. What? You are the best boyfriend ever. I'm going to release you later today. Is there someone that can pick you up? Nope. Friend or a family member we can call? No one. Well, you live as long as I do. You eventually lose everyone. I'm not saying you get used to it, but you expect it, you deal. But he was just... A baby? I'm all for fun. It's just too much more and I might explode. <laughs> uh. Right. Sorry. No more food, but movie, club, shopping <laughs> fun still to be had. Hey, you want to go to the roller rink? Charles, I, I'm kind of wiped. Oh. It's just that we've been having so much fun today. Don't you He's think all we should save some before we use it up and all the other people get sad because we took all the happy? It's just it's not like we have to cram the rest of our lives into one single day, right? He does. Oh my god. Do you have leukemia? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny, but <laughs> don't laugh at me. I He's laughing too. All the time they're young and in love, their whole lives ahead of them when suddenly tragedy strikes. I'm not sick. You're not. You promise? I'm not sick. Oh. Thank God. I, I just sold better. my soul. Maybe we should just get out of here, go to the hotel. Maybe we should stay right here and you should stop lying to me. Oh. I know something's wrong. Yeah, she does. Just be honest and tell me. This isn't something we're going to talk through. You share your feelings, I'll share mine, then we'll have a big hug. I don't think I like the way you're talking to me. Too bad. He's going to break up with her. Why are you being so mean? I'm being honest. Isn't that what you want? You finally figured that one out. What's oh. wrong with me? Now I got to make a list? I don't think I have enough time. Are you joking? Is there someone else? Yes. Her name is I'm a real woman, not a stick figure. Get the picture? Damn. I knew he was going to end up pulling that. You'll go on living, too. You'll do that. I don't know how. Day at a time. You don't need to. I don't know what else to do. Fred, what is it? What's wrong? It's Charles. I think he's in terrible danger. <laughs> he is. And you think that because... He broke up with me. Uh, but not uh. really. Oh. Dad, he said those things to me, but he would never say those things to me. Those <laughs> things he said? Exactly. That's why I know he's in trouble. Let me get this straight. You and Gunn are dating. <sighs> Not anymore, I guess. Red, honey, don't you see? He hurt me. And the only reason he'd do that is to protect me from something. Yep. And whatever it is, it's got to be knows. bad. Still no answer at his place or on his cell phone. Oh, no. This does not bode well. Okay, then we'll have to split up. To cover more ground it is a good plan, I agree. Fred and I can go check out Gun's old gang hall and see if they heard from him. Or if they know of any old enemies you might have. Oh, please remind me to give that rectangle to Gun once we find him. For I am confident we shall. Oh, gosh. That works for Jenoff. <laughs> Jenoff. The soul sucker. Time anyway. She must He's be a vulture from this girl Brooklyn Nine-Nine. give my merchandise to. I'm here to make good on my debt. You don't even talk about it. I don't remember what it, like I said, I don't remember what his name is about She was never part thing. of the deal. Gun! Oh, shit. Angel. I know. We are surrounded. I know. We have to save Charles. I know. I know. <laughs> you release him, forget what he owes you, I'll let you live. Thank oh. you. I wonder what game he's going to choose. Brilliant Poker? stall tactic. Bought us some time now. What's the plan? This is the plan. But if you lose your soul, won't you go evil and start killing everybody, including us? 
Am I wrong? Uh, not wrong in theory, but uh, I've got to go with Ace on this one, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna win. And if I lose, you know what to do. Make it quick. You know I will. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty decent. A three? A three? A three. Uh. You lose. Ah! Ooh, nice. Quick enough? Works for me. That was nice. Charles. Angel. It's over. No need to say thanks. You're right. If killing him was that easy, I would have done it myself. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's gross. Now we fight. Anybody else in here owe this guy? I'd run then. Oh. Or I guess try to kill him terribly wrong to break up with you and say those mean and untrue things. Good. Now, say it into the tape recorder. <laughs> I'm really sorry, and I'll never do it again. Who was she? Oh, his sister? That was way before I met you. You must have wanted her pretty bad to trade your soul. <laughs> Guess I did. It was a truck. A truck? I was 17 years old, and I sold my soul for a truck. Not this truck. Don't go dissing my girl. Oh, Charles, your soul wasn't worth air conditioning. <laughs> Look, back in the day, this truck kept me alive. What is it about you that makes me melt? Maybe it's that I love you. Aww. I love you, too. It's gotta be it. <laughs> She gonna have a vision. Aww. That's so sad. Oh, he better get Connor back. I swear to God. <laughs> like, oh, I swear he better get him back. Or I'm gonna be so upset. He has to get him back, right? I mean, come on. He has to get his son back. <sighs> it is tearing me up. I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I might have to watch another episode today. I don't know. Jeez, dude. Oh, I can't with this show. Okay. <laughs> um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.